What stereotype would you like to see just completely retired from Hollywood? I do not want to see any stereotype retired from Hollywood. I know that's controversial. Oh, I want to hmm. see the people who have been stereotyped given their own story. Because the danger of a stereotype is that they're one dimensional. I love that we have sexy Asian leading men. That's what I want. The Nick you're dating is Nick Young. Yeah, you guys know them or something? Hells yeah. They're just the biggest developers in all of Singapore. Damn, Rachel. It's like the Asian bachelor. But I also want, you know, nerdy. Asian men to feel that they are worthy of love. Mm -hmm. And the problem is when you make fun of them in the secondary role where you don't explore their whole lives. That's why I keep stressing this thing about being the center of the story, not because I want to be like, oh, I'm a star. <laughs> because I'm not. But because that's how you, that's how you get rid of stereotypes. Uh, not by trying to be the cool guy, because that makes the, the other guy feel like they're not worth anything. But if you say to that other guy or that other girl, like even mm -hmm. though you're not the, the, the beauty queen, um, you have a story and people want to know and you have depth to you. You have mm -hmm. more than one dimension. So I think we should take a lot of the stereotypes and just give them their own story so they can get to show more than one dimension. I remember when I first came here to Hollywood, it was always an excuse why there is an Asian face. And so it has to be, oh, she comes from Chinatown. Oh, she's the waitress. Oh, she comes, she's from the laundromat or the takeout or something like this. Why do we have to be explained? Because you are very much part of the society here in America, right? Mm -hmm. So there shouldn't be. And I think it's the climate has changed because the minorities, that's what we are called, are all not afraid to speak out and be heard mm -hmm. because in the past it's almost like you know we're invisible and if we should be seen let's find a good reason why there is an asian face in that oh they're from the chinese gang or the triads or something like that mm -hmm. which we are not it's important for diversity but don't make us a token you know just yeah. put a token chinese face there because there's a huge big market in china right now and if they see a chinese face no that's not going to happen you know, if you don't tell the stories properly, if these uh, Chinese are not represented in the, the proper way, we're going to take offense to that. And rightly so, because we wouldn't do that to you. So why are you doing that to us? Mm -hmm. A lot of people say that this is the first, you know, Hollywood movie in 25 years. Where has it been? Well, you know what? It's been on Fresh Off the Boat. Right now, I look at this as a continuum of four amazing years of Fresh Off the Boat. Now it's on its fifth year, of which I think that helped Crazy Rich Asians get made and, and Fresh Off the Boat helped me have my own show for two years, 44 episodes. I feel it's a movement that has been continuing, you know, and it's not just out of nowhere you have this. It yeah. it's, doesn't work that way, yeah.